Hello at Bags, it's Jay Plays Games, back again with another Ark Survival Evolved PS4 Let's Play! Um, today guys, I'm going to go on an adventure. In fact, we're going to go visit my favourite locations on the island. Now we've got a fly out, we can really get going, we can really go, 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 go! Um, no, let's go, let's go. I think we're good, I think we're good. I've got quite a bit of gear on me. I'm a bit worried that if we fall into any trouble, I could lose a lot of it. Um, but we'll, we'll sort that, we'll worry about that when we're out and about. So the island, you've got a special video coming out on the centre map. I'm showing you my favourite locations on the centre. But the island, you know what? The island is something I've never explored as much. I have explored the centre, nobody's business. Oh look, it's tapioca. Hello tapioca. Um, but yeah, I have not explored the, cent the, the normal island map as much. But there are a couple locations I know. So we're going to go and visit them. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly where my kind of favourite places are. Man, this pteranodon has got awful stamina. He's nearly running out already. I'm gonna need a. I'll need a powerful beast. I guess that's why I should have maybe held out for a more powerful Tyrannodon rather than going for just like the cut price bargain basement one I found in the, the dollar store. Um, come on, where's he gone? Have I named this one? I don't think I've named this one either, have I? You know what? How rude of me! How bloody rude of me! Let's name it. Let's name it now. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! That is bad looks. Bad deeds. Um, what have I got? Have I got any weapons? Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got a few arrows. Oh, maybe we can tame it. Oh, he's tromping down on that poor um, creature. Oh no! Am I hitting it? Why is it, why is it not taking any damage? Oh, there we go. It's taking damage now. Whoa! Go down. Go down, you bugger. Go down. Go down. Go down. Oh no, he's coming for me now. Oh sugar. Oh sugar. Oh. Sh Sugar. Um, no, he's down. I think he's down. I think he's out. I think he's unconscious. Oh, okay. So my, my I've got a sarco apparently. You know what? I'm going to put a bunch of meat in there, and I'm just going to leave it, and we'll just see if he tames. He should be all right. Oh no, the torpor's going down pretty quickly. I might have to knock him out a little bit more with some narco berries or narcotics. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm feeling that. You know, maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe I'll just do that, and I'll just leave him to it. And if he if he gets knocked out, he gets knocked out. If we tame him, we tame him. I'm not really I'm not I don't want to really be taming anything. It's gonna take a while as well, to be fair. You know what? We'll we'll boost up these um thingy there. Now you meant to wait until they get to a certain point. Top tip is let them go hungry. Let them get to at least halfway hunger, maybe even more, and then feed them meat. It it makes the taming level better. So that's a top tip. If you want taming levels better, make sure you let them go hungry. Don't put any meat in there until their their level's gone right down, their hunger. Um, but I ain't got time for that chisel. So, um, where's narcotics? Have I not got, like, one single narcotics? Did I really go and put them all in the thingy? Okay. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's grab some narcotics. Might as well be a bit rude not to just, like, do it. I've, I've, I've knocked him out. So, hopefully, we can take... Oh, he's taming pretty quickly, actually. I, might, I really might not need to do this. I'll put it in there anyway, just in case. Yeah, nine should be enough. There we go. Yeah, I think that's going to be right. I think that's going to be right. We'll use it once. We'll use the narcotics once. So click on the new narcotics and remote use the item. It's going to knock him out a little bit longer. It's going to just keep him going a bit more sleepy, sleepy time. But it does mean they, they don't eat as quickly either. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's as, about as good as we're going to get it. All right, we'll chance it. We'll chance it. We'll chance where we were. We'll come back and see if he actually has been... Tamed. Right, onwards and upwards. Okay, look, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, a really cool location is this place on the right-hand side. I'm going to show you the locations on the map as well. Um, but these are waterfalls. A lot of people have built around this area before. I've shown a guy called Killer Streaker John. He's built a base here. Um, I think Lead the G built something here as well. Um, there's, there's all sorts of good spots around these waterfalls, but it's just a nice location. I just like this little waterfall area. It's got a nice little feel to it. So you can build all around this and it, it's pretty cool to build around here. I really think it's a nice area. Um, you've got a nice little pool of water. So let's take a look at the map just to show you guys where we are on the map. The map. It's all about the map. Um, we are on 8121. 8121. And you see it there. I think this is a good location. I just like having the, the waterfall. I, I just something about waterfalls. I really like waterfalls. Anywhere there's a waterfall, I'll be there. Like TLC, chasing waterfalls. Um, and even up here as well, this is quite a nice place as well. Look, you've got you can build like a river village. Um, that's what Killer Streaker John did. Go and check out that video it's somewhere there on my playlist, the World Tour playlist. Um, but it's just a nice spot and this tree and just this little island here. It's quite nice. I really like this area. Right, crack on. Let's go. Onwards.
Oh, you know what? We didn't do. After all that time, after getting attacked by the Sarko, or seeing the Sarko, I didn't actually name the creature. Let's do it. I was going to say, right, we're looking at the comment section. Let's see if I can just find anyone. There we go. The Hove. The Hove. You're, you're coming up, bruv. You're coming up. The Hove side. Right, it's, it's named my beast. Hove side's been commenting quite a while now. Big up to him. He's got his own YouTube channel as well, I do believe. I've checked out a video a while ago, to be fair. I don't think he's doing art content yet. You need to get on that, bruv. You need to get on it. Yeah, baby. Hear me roar. Right, we're coming up to location number two. It's literally the waterfall show. This is what this is. It's just the waterfall show, because everywhere I'm showing you, it's just nice little waterfalls. Again, I like this area. There's just something about having a waterfall in the background. Having a little house down here, I think it's pretty cool. Just having, yeah, I just think it's a really nice area. But we are going to fly up the river now. If I don't have to keep landing every two bloody seconds. So where have you guys been building in your first week of Arkham PS4? Or if you've been playing it on Xbox or PC for like a year now, where is your favourite locations, guys? Is it somewhere like this where the waterfalls... This area is not so great, actually. This area is just a bit, I don't know, closed in and dark and dank. I'm not feeling this area as an area. Um, but I certainly like most of the waterfall areas around here. Oh, hello. Got a few spinies. Got a few stegs. It's all going on here. Loads of wildlife, anyway. Coming up now, yeah. Look, more waterfalls. I'm just saying, here's the waterfall tour. I ain't seen one ruin yet. I want to see a ruin. Where's the ruins? Oh, here we go. We've got the volcano. You know what? While we're here, we might as well take a quick look at the volcano. And we could get some metal. We do need some metal. We are going to need it. So maybe I could dump a lot of the crap in my inventory. I mean, we've got some metal there as well. Look. So this is the metal we need. This is a really good resource area for it um, if we don't get attacked by this um, scorpion later. So just fly right up, right up into the volcano. Don't worry, it's not a real volcano. It's dead volcano. Do, do. And look at this, guys. So if you've not seen this already, this volcano, this mountain, is a absolutely mental place to be. Now, it doesn't have any resources like woods or trees, but you are going to have to go down for that sort of stuff. But what it has is an absolute crap ton of obsidian and metal. So really rich sourced area. You can just grab loads of stuff. So we are going to take a lot of stuff, I think, um, while we're up here. I might as well do that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to build like a full... A post, an outpost as well. I think this is a good spot that we could just build something where we can come back if we need to um, to get more stuff. And we're literally just going to place these chests there. And I'm, I'm sure I had a bed. And there we go, guys. It is just a pit stop. This is all this is going to be. So if we're desperate for metal, um, we can come up here and harvest some stuff. We're going to leave a few resources in here, actually. Now, the one thing about the metal is you're going to need the right tool for the right job. If I'm hitting it with my stone, then I'm getting about 37, 40... Uh, yeah, I'm getting about 7, 10 pieces of metal each time, maybe. Oh, it goes up to 15 there. If I use an actual metal pick for it, though... Look at that, 52 metal in one shot. That's pretty cool. 104 metal, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're doing good. And obsidian as well. If you try taking obsidian down with just a stone pick, you only get like one. It is like, it's really poor, really poor. So make sure you've got a metal pick before you go to this area or location and start harvesting some of these resources. Um, it's definitely, definitely worth thinking about that first. Um, let's get some more obsidian. I'm feeling like obsidian is probably the one to go. Don't trouble with obsidian. It's massively heavy. Well, metal's heavy as well. Um, we'll see how much of this we can get. We'll take a lot now, and then by the time we ever come back up here, we can put some of this in the chests, and there'll, more of it will grow. So as long as you've got the settings right, like I showed you in the, my little guide, the resources will come back fairly quickly, um, if you've just got it on the right settings. You know what, we could cook a lot of this stuff up, actually. We could do that. I've ended up making this uh, an exploration video, but really, we could probably make a refining forge. Got hide, wood, and fiber. I think I've got all of that in this little area here. There we go. Right, we'll put all that metal I just got inside. We'll cook all that up. And by the time we come back for it, it will be ready. And job done. Bang tidy. 
Yeah, baby. Burn, baby, burn. I'll tell you one thing about the volcano as well. It looks good. Like, the resolution around here is amazing. It's always been good. Even on the Xbox, it looks pretty cool. Um, but on the PS4, it does look just like... It's just looked really sharp. It's look really, It does look really nice. So I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Right, let's go for Explore. We'll carry on going for the Explore. We'll come back up and pick up the metal on the way. Um, but this is the entrance way. So, again, for a PvP area, if you're on a PvP map, if you can get up here and claim it... Oh my gosh, it is it is definitely one of the better places. We've got loads of crystal as well. You know what? I could do with some crystal. I really could do with some crystal. Oh, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm meant to be doing just a thingy. Now, do not hit these with your stone pick. Because, look, you get one crystal. That is piss poor. Piss poor. You want to be hitting it with that. That's what you want to be hitting it with. Your metal pick. And you'll get loads more from each swipe. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, right, cool, 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 cool. But yeah, look, you can see how narrow this is. So unless a tribe has got loads of flyers, if you put some decent gates up here, no one is coming up here to bother you or bug you. You can really defend your, your place really well. It is a winding path. It kind of goes all the way down. Um, so it is a bit of a slope. Um, should we go down and have a little look? See if there's any creatures, anything going on? No, see... And then you just follow this path all the way down. It goes all the way down the mountainside. So you literally follow it like you literally just follow it all the way down. So you know what? We will follow it. There are resources all in the way. You can see these great big massive metal ores sticking out of the ground. So again, even if you came up here on a land dinosaur, if you found this route, by the time you got to the top, you'd have so much metal on you, you could definitely make a base up there. You're just gonna need loads and loads of wood and fibre. That's the only bad thing about this place. There's not enough wood. Um, there might be a bit of fibre from these bushes, but there's definitely not enough wood. Um, and this volcano is like central, really, to the map. It is like the one of the, the most central locations you're going to find. Well, I better land soon before I get kicked off. Loads of uh, saber tooth cats, saber tigers, uh, linos, what they ever called. What's that cat called in Thundercats? What was his name? Snarf? Was it Snarf? Snarf doesn't feel right. I'm sure it weren't Snarf. Maybe it is Snarf. Hello. Oh, that was was that an hello? What is that? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Sugar, 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 sugar. Oh, sugar. Okay, they were just sneaky. There was only like one of them, and oh man. Oh, sugar. That was close. I was nearly brown bread. Nearly brown bread. Holy schmoly! Look, there's two of them, three of them. What was they trying to attack? They're just waiting there in the rocks. Little buggers. Little buggers trying to ambush me. How dare they? How bloody dare they? Don't they know who I am? All right. Let's carry on. Uh, poor Pteranodon. Poor Hove. Poor Hovey boy. You scared, weren't you, boy? You scared. Right, let's go down. Let's go down. You got the Redwood Forest. Hey, I keep talking about the Redwood Forest, and now I can get there. Do I want to get there? I don't know if I do, you know. I was looking around the centre map earlier today for another video. Ah, oh, the centre has got such a beautiful... It is a beautiful map. It has got some really great locations on it. Um... I prefer the, the redwood on the centre than I do to the island. So go and check it out. It's definitely worth checking out. I'll be putting that video out in the next couple of days so you will see it. But here's the cave entrance. I was going to show you on the map as well. I'm not going to just show you like half job, Bob. I'm going to show you on the map. I don't want to get too close to that raptor. We're not going to go spelunking on this episode, though. I'm not about to do that. I, I really want this to just be a quick tour and a guide. And it is getting night time as well. So we may have to go back. We may have to cut this tour short. Um, but it's around 43 and 46 and if you just look up at the big volcano it's just there there's a big slope there's no other big landmarks it can be it can be quite hard to miss but there's one thing about cave entrances if you're looking at it from quite a height it kind of glows it kind of shimmers like wait well, you know it used to i'm chatting rubbish now apparently it doesn't it does normally. If you're looking at it from quite a distance away, it kind of shimmers and shines. I'm trying to remember what artifact is in there. I think it's artifact of the Devourer. I don't know if it is. Clever. There we go. My little boy's helped me out. He's watching it today. I've um, got a raptor down there. Oh, raptor's hungry. Oh, hello. We're not going in there. We're not going in there. I'm not doing a cave one adventure today. It is getting dark as well. So, a couple more locations. A couple cool more locations. Oh my god. The game needs to load in. Can you load in, please? Can you load in? Is it going to load in? No, this isn't plain. I was going to say, this area is never that plain, is it? I'm sure this area had loads of trees in it. What's, what's going on? Really? Really? Seems weird. I don't remember this being this plain. You know what? It's been a while. I haven't been on the island properly in a long time. 
a long, long time have I actually spent any time on the island. Oh, look, another tapioca. Tapioca's everywhere. Um, okay, right, next next location, next location. Let's go over and under. Oh, no, oh, he's knackered. Oh, no, quick, land. Land, boy, land. Oh, oh, no, what was that sound? Oh, this is... Something's big. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's just a parasol. Oh my god, you scared the crap out of me, bruv. Thought you were some big hungry T-Rex about to just chomp on my f ass. Right, okay. Okay. Ready? And a one. And a two. I'm doing good tonight. All you negative, negative people telling me I'm going to die at ten minutes, nine minutes, eight minutes. Ha ha. I got you. I got you. I'm not dead yet. Um, as he says, dying almost immediately. That's what's going to happen now. I'm going to end up dying like straight away. There's loads of raptors around. There's a big massive pack of hungry raptors up here. Um, we've ended up going through a massive tour. I'm not really showing off too many locations. I'm just, I'm, you know what, it's just nice flying around. It's just really nice. Look at the beautiful map. Well, it needs, yeah, it needs that to pop in. It does need that to pop in, yeah. Thank you very much. I was going to say, that looks a bit rubbish. Don't, don't you know, I'm showing, showing the world the beauty of the island, and then you let me down, island. You let me down. You just showed nothing but barebackness. Barebackness. What are we going on here? We've got a party of sabers taking on the stegos. Go on, stegos, have it. I'm going to help you out, bro. Oh, no, 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 no I'm not going to help you out. I'm going to get killed. I'm, I'm playing with fire. I'm fire. More fire. Um, I am going to get absolutely killed in a minute and just like, I'll be crying in my soup, in my uh, beef stew. Um, I've still not seen any ruins. Where the hell are all the ruins? I thought there was meant to be loads of ruins. I've, I've barely come across any. Oh, this is a bad spot. This is a bad spot to stop. Oh, yeah, and you could have stopped on top of the big safe cliff, but no, you had to stop just here. Just teasing, just teasing things going on. Um, oh, look, there's big T-Rex. Big T-Rex. Big T-Rex. I don't think that Sarko's going to tame. I think you need to be near him. I don't think if you, I think if you piss off too far, they don't tame. There's something going on with that one. Um, but yeah, we are going on this other side of this mountain for a reason. So it's pretty north. This is like quite the hard part of the map. Now this is this is a very hard area. This is where all your T-Rexes are going to spawn. It's where all like loads and loads of carnivorous dinosaurs spawn. So it is a bit of a hard area to be in. But it has got this little location which I quite like. Look, all these little igloos, well, not igloos, but ice sort of, uh, what are they called, ice cools, ice flows, um, glaciers, god, that's it, I can speak at last, I ain't even got detail graphics on, what the hell, but yeah, I quite like this area, it's really cold, it's not practical, you're gonna have to like live really, you know, loads of heat around you all the time, but as just like a, a place to come visit and just take a look at, I don't know, there's just something about about it. I just like it. It's quite serene, it's quite cold. Um, is there any penguins about? I can't see any penguins. I would have thought there might have been a few little penguins dotted around. Oh, there's a party going up over there on the coast. We'll go and take a look at that party in a second. Oh, yeah, look, look, look. There's a T-Rex party going on. T-Rex versus, um, oh look, it's the horsey ones, it's the horsey dinosaurs, the calciniums, the calciniums, oh they're having it, look, they're having it, they're not having it, should we help them out, should I try and get on top of a rock and help them out, whoa, okay, no, 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 no. land on the, the, the rock, land on the tall rock, away from the T-Rex, thank you very much, thank you very much, oh this could go bad, this could go really wrong, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, I, has he taken them out, he's taking the calciniums out, does he look slightly buddy? Is he coming for me? Yeah, he's going for me. Sugar. Sugar. Okay, we, we won't muck about. We're not going to muck around. Tease me, tease me, tease me, T-Rex. Um, let's carry on this guy. We're going this way now. We're going this way. I'm going to take you to one of the most dangerous spots on the island. Fact. Fact. It's the most dangerous spot on the island. Um, once we get there. It is this way. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Might be a good idea. Oh, look, there's a ruin. There's a ruin. We might find explore note. Yes! Is that a chest? Oh, I thought that was a chest. Yeah, it is a chest. It is. Right, let's make sure there's no nothing around us. Go on, explore a note. Oh, baby, what we got? What we got? What we got? Ugh. Ugh. Half a plura. That sucks. Big balls. Thanks. Thanks for that. I thought I was getting something really super duper exciting. It's just enough plura. What level are you, bro? You're level two. Oh my God. You are. You are not worth my time. Even just stopping for two seconds to look at you, bro. Right. Let's crack on. 
All right, let's go down. We'll see if we can go down and get this one. See what level it is. Oh, you're pooing like just at the wrong time, bruv. Right, let's see. I don't think I can unlock this yet. No, I can. Ugh, again, I'm not having bad luck here. It's a metal irrigation pipe of all the waste gash kind of things to be getting. A metal irrigation pipe. No, me. That's not the one. It's not the one. Okay, right. Are we ready? <sighs> okay, let's make sure my, pterodons, my pteranodon's got loads of good meat. Has he got meat inside him? Is he, is he hungry already? Oh, yeah, he is. Eat, boy. Eat. There you go. Okay, right. You've got to fly across this water. I'm going to show you on the map when we get across to it. But this is called Carno Island. Now, Carno Island... Is obviously filled with carnos. What is it? Is it called Carno Island? Carnivorous Island. Not the Carno the dinosaur, but Carnivorous as in Deaf Island. That's what it's called. Deaf Island, Carnivorous Island. There's basically a shed load of meat eaters on this island. Like, I'm going to get off just for two seconds just to show you on the map. And we're way up north. You can see way up north there, around the 18 and 78 mark, right up there. So we've explored nearly the map. We've done a good job. I think this has been good. We'll just had a little tour. I'm going around checking things out and stuffs. Um, but yeah, there are low. What well, is meant to be loads of meters? I'll tell you what. I'm not seeing too many. Okay, there we go. We've got a T-Rex. Oh my God! Look how many raptors there are there. I've never four, four raptors, five, five raptors in a row. Wow, that is a big pack. Look, we've got a few carnos. What we've got going on over here? We've got a T-Rex, a couple of lions. Well, hello, teased him. <coughs> What's this forest point here? Oh, we've got ruins. Oh, shall I risk it for a biscuit? Oh no, should we see if there's um there's a, something down there? We can maybe try and get an explorer note. This could be like the stupidest move ever. If I go down there and the explorer note's not down there and I'll just get wiped out by these carnos, I'll lose everything I've got on me. That's it, can we just... No, no! Oh, Pteranodon, man, you are a waste gash. This Pteranodon is just not the one. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay, okay, this is dangerous. This is really dangerous and stupid. Um, I just want to see if there's a box. Is there a box? Yes, there is. Can we unlock it? Yes, you can unlock it by being on an animal. We got a rock world record. Cool. So these are useful. They give you XP buffs and stuff like that, guys. Look, you can see that little left hand triangle up there. It's going to give you XP if you do stuff. So you know what? We need to craft. We need to gather. We need to hunt um, just to get some bits and bobs. Oh, man. I'm, I'm getting the worst loot crates ever here. Jesus, monies, that is awful. That berries, like who wants berries in a loot crate of all the stupid things? You know what? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like if we should try and just do something, harvest something, gather something, because we're going to get loads of XP just by doing something like this right now. Um, we'll, grab, we'll, grab, we'll grab some wood as well. There we go. Okay, we could probably do with um, taking something out, though. Like trying to take something. Oh, look, there's a little thingy there. Should we try taking him out? Yeah, we'll try doing that. Oh, this was a bad idea. Why am I doing this in the dark? No, piss off. Leave my Tyrandon alone. Oh, there we go, bruv. Took you out. He's a level three. Okay, I won't I won't shout that out too high. Yeah, I'm Billy Big Balls. I took out a level three. Level three scorpion. Uh! Um, but yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, when's the night going to end? I'm sure I'll put night as to like finish quite quickly. Um, but it's, it seems to be taking forever. Okay, right, next, next woods, onwards and upwards. We'll go back now. We're going to fly back. We'll go back over to the volcano. And then we'll swing by the base and we're done. Come at me, bro. Got you, bro. Got you. Oh, should we try taking it out? Should we take out an Alpha Raptor? That would be a good end to an episode. I'll have to be careful. Oh, no. Wrong, wrong, wrong creature. Wrong creature. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. You know what? We'll get our health back a little bit here. Oh, oh, sugar, okay, whoa, okay, we're not doing that, we're not doing that, there was about 20 of them, look, are oh, they going mad, are they all chasing each other, are they all just, the alpha raptors just going buck wild, look at all of them, oh, I'm not getting involved with that, okay, you win, 1-0 to raptors, I have boosted my trend on no end, and you know what, he's still awful. He's still got some awful stats. And that's it. I'm going to go perfect tame, perfect kibble dinosaurs next episode. That's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can get us a nice perfect tamed creature. 
Um, right, let's, let's, let's fly up. Let's fly high. Um, where was I going anyway? I was totally off key. I was totally going like the wrong spot. <laughs> Oh, we've got more ruins. We've got more ruins, mate. I am with we're, we're just piling through. Yes, and there's another note. Oh, and I'm cold. Why am I cold? What, what's going on with me? Why do I need health? What we got? What we got? Oh, the Gigantosaurus, otherwise known as the Giga. That is a nice one, bruv. That is a nice one. I'm feeling it. Yeah, this has been worth it. Look at that. Rockwell Records. We've got a Gigantosaurus as well. Yes, mate. Okay, right. What do I need to do? Why am I dying? Why am I dying? Oh, my God. I am really dying. Oh, sugar. What do, oh, it's my, is it my food? Did I not bring any meat with me at all? Did I not bring any cooked meat? Did I just come out like a nub? I'll eat the mushroom. Yeah, the mushroom's good. There we go. Ah, and someone laughed at me. Who laughed at me? It was Tubby. Tubby from Twitter laughed at me for putting points into food. There you go, bruv. That is why you put a bit of points into food. Save you having to come down all the time and, uh, yeah. Eat. Um, we've got the obelisk over there. The obelisk is pretty cool as well. We're gonna, we are, we're gonna head back to it now. The redwood. There are a couple locations in redwood that are cool. Um, that place that I got eaten by that carno. That is a really cool location. Um, and round here is quite cool as well. I like some of these formations here. And again, for base building, it could be pretty interesting. The only problem getting them Rockwell notes, I've kind of wasted all that XP because I'm not doing anything else. It does stack though, so if we get this metal and I high boot it to my base, then we can dump everything and then next episode we can go hunting and we can really utilise that and get lots of XP um, gains from using it. So yeah, that might be a good idea. We'll try doing that then. So I'm going to land in a second because my bloody pteranodon has got the stamina of a gnat um, and then it should be good. We should be good to go. Okay, mate, fly, fly, you fools, fly. Oh, what's this one? Got can't, got alphas everywhere. That's the one good thing about going out in dark. It's not so good for the quality of the video, but you do get to see all the alphas, um, and they are badass. You don't want to be messing around with an alpha. Not with a level 33. Well, he's gone up a bit now. He's level 55 to Anadon, but definitely we're going to need something a little bit more harder to take on one of them bad boys. All right, if we come here, oh look, it's still burning away. Still burning away. It's going to be daytime soon. Oh, we've got food. I'm going to go crafting speed. I like my crafting. Everyone's going to go, oh my god, I can't believe you're putting stuff into crafting speed. But I just I just like it. So, no, nah, that's it. You know what? That's good. We're going to cook up loads of stuff. We'll come back. We've got 66 metal. That's a fair amount of metal. We will come back and we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. Oh, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. Like, we will put even more um, spark powder into the furnace so that it's, it's ready to go. Where's the... Um, Where's you? Where's you? Where's you, mate? I'll tell you what, while we're here as well, if I've got the narco berries and I've got that rancid meat, I might as well put that in and we can make some um, of this stuff as well. And it'll just be all waiting. And then we've got everything going. We've got everything waiting for us. Right, onwards. Homeward bound, my friend. Look how sharp it is in the volcano. And you go out of the volcano and then it becomes all a little bit more cloudy. Just a little bit more baggy. Oh, look, it's lighting the way as well. Look, the drops are lighting the way home. Is that the way home? I'll get lost. I'll get so lost. So, so lost. Yeah, no, it is the way home. Yeah, it is. Towards Red Ob. Oh, look, there we go. Now daylight breaks. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. You need to know the words to the Lion King to help me out. <laughs> I was about to try singing the Lion King and I can't do it. Everything the light touches is your Simba. I want to just get, yeah, land on the bug. Right, what you got in here, bruv? What you got? Uh, GPS unit. Oh, okay, that is really good. That is really nice. That is that is definitely made this trip even more worth it. A GPS. No way, bro. Yes. Yes way, bro. Okay, right, we're flying up here. Oh, there's another one there. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? There's quite a lot of drops here. Quite a lot of drops. In your button press on. It's all right. Flat leggings! Come on, we've got blueprints for loads of gear. This is excellent. Why are you running, bro? What are you running for? Oh, it's calcinium. We're not too far away from the base, you know. 
I've never tamed one of these guys. That would be cool if we could tame one. Should we, should we give it a go? No, I think you've got to feed them beer. Yeah, you've got to feed them beer. No, or beer or cake. Yeah, it's beer. It's some sort of beer. We're going to leave it. We'll leave it. Don't get too ahead of yourself. That's the only trouble I have. I tend to do about ten different things at once. Um, did we ever go back to that that Saki? Where did he go? Where was he? Was he this way? I've lost my base. I've totally lost where we were. Yeah, it was on the other side of this river. I'm sure it was. Oh, more ruins, more ruins. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I am literally the worst. If I'm in an open world game and I'm meant to be doing one quest, one mission, I get so easily sidetracked, it is untrue. I will be just taking a look at every single little nook, cranny and story going on. Oh, we've got the uh, Onyx dossier, otherwise known as Labat. Nice, nice. We've got three or four in here. This is what happens when you go for a nice little explore. You get so many nice little buffs. Look how much XP buff we've got at the moment. If we we just got to do something really solid with it. We've got to go on an adventure. We've got to go hunting. That's what we need to do. Um, we get XP really low, really quickly. Um, where the hell's my base? It's probably not there. I'm pretty sure you've got to be close by. I don't think it works if they're not close by. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Was this it? This was the area I was in. There he is up there. You ready, bruv? Yes, he is! Get in! Sarko! Look at that. That was like the most minimal effort. Oh my god, the levels in this game are awful. You know what, guys? I think I think there's a problem with the levels of the dinos. I haven't seen a high level dinosaur. They're all really low. Now, I've got my dino difficulty up to level 1. But, I've got a feeling there's an issue. You need to do a dino wipe. If you've already started your world and then you muck around with the settings, you need to wipe your dinos that are on it. So, we're going to do that right now. So you need to make sure admin logins on when you do this, so you can do admin commands. This is the only cheat I do. I don't spawn in any items. I don't need to. The server's boosted, um, and I don't need anything else. Um, so literally, if we just put destroy all dinos, I think no, it's destroy wild dinos. Cool. It's been a while since I've done this as well. And you'll know it's worked, because hopefully you should be able to go and take a look at a creature that was just there, and he's disappeared. Yeah, they have. They've all just disappeared. There was loads of creatures here. There was a few turtles and everything. So, that will mean creatures will start spawning, and they will be a higher level now. They will be the level 120, um, which is the max on the island at the moment. So, yeah. All right, mate. Are you coming over me, then? All right, let's go. Let's, uh... You ready, Barry? That's your new name, Barry. Barry the Sarko. No, we're not going to call him Barry. I'm going to call him something decent. You, you following? Come on. Come on, Barry. I like the way Sarko's moving. No, don't stop there, bruv. No, come on. I oh, don't make me get a saddle for you. Are you really... Are you going to be that stupid? You're getting stuck on a tree? Yeah, you are. You're getting that stupid. You're getting stuck on a tree. Jesus Christ. Okay. Come on. That's it. Come on. That's it. Honestly, I don't know why I'm bothering. He's level 11. I could probably take him out of a toothpick. Um, but come on, mate. We might as well. Come on. No. He's got stuck on a rock. Oh, my God. They're so stupid. Come on. I'm pretty sure our, our area's up here. I'm, we're not too far away. Yeah. No. Where's he going? Where are you going, Barry? Come on. Barry the Sarko, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, yeah, I think we're here. I think we're close. No, yeah, are you... No, oh, he's got off the cliff. Oh, my God, Barry, you donkey. Barry, what are you doing? What, what... <sighs> Mate. Mate. You some sort of stupid or what? Okay, right. Oh, right now I've fallen down it as well, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, oh, my God, this is, this is my life, is it? This is my Let's Play videos. Bringing home the most stupidest alligator home. You're not even worth it, bruv. You're level 11. You're not worth my time. Come on. I took a tree down for you as well. No, don't wait. Oh, my God. What is he doing? What is he doing? What? Where is he going? Oh, mate. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Don't go. Don't make life more complicated for him. Take him through lots of rocks. <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on. 
So look at that guys, we literally explored the whole island in one video and you know what, I am super proud, I managed to stay alive. All you Diet and Thomases, <laughs> so what happens if it carries on, if I carry on living, what are you guys going to do? You don't know an episode with me not dying. You, your minds must be blown right now that I've not died two or three times. Um, but that was good. I like that. I like that. I like looking around. We had a nice little adventure. We know a few things to do now. We've got loads of things. Why am I crouching like a, a knob? Um, we have got this bad boy here. Otherwise known as Barry. That's his name from now on. No, I want a nicer shot. Come here, Barry. So there we go, guys. We've got our Sarko. Didn't plan to get a Sarko. That has got to be one of the weirdest second times I've ever done. Um, we're going to forget about Oscar. We're not going to mention Oscar because Eska's dead. And, you know, you can't keep remembering poor Oscar because he's gone. He's gone. We've got Barry the Sarko and we've got the Hove, the Hove side, the Pteranodon. Good good job, guys. Good job. We've done a good job. I'm Jay Plays Games. Thank you a lot for very much for watching my Let's Play video. In the next video, we're going to be taking a look at some bits and bobs I think we need to start doing, like preserving... Um, I would like to start getting some kibble ready. I'm, I'm feeling getting the nice dinosaur. I can see the benefit in having a really good, tamed, well-leveled dinosaur rather than these little <laughs> bottom dwellers I've got going on right now. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm insulting you quite a lot, but it's because you're so stupid and low-level. I'm going to go and get something nice. We want something we can speed around in. Um, and, yeah, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I'm Jay Plays Games. Thank you, guys. You know what? The support you guys have been giving me has been amazing. I can't believe how many views I've got on my Let's Play. I've got, like, 40,000 views on my first video now. That is just in incredible. Incredible. Hit me up with a like. Make sure you've got notifications turned on. I've got loads of guides, loads of tutorials coming up in the next few days. I'm Jay Plays Games. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.